What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Y'all know my favorite food is pasta. Duh. You know I'm doing a Minneapolis bucket list. We are doing a little, I don't know how many part series this is gonna be, but of my favorite pastas in the Twin Cities. I might sprinkle in a couple that I haven't been to but are just like on my list of places to go. Either way, first stop today is going to be Broder's pasta bar. I have a couple of their pastas that I really, really love. And I actually just ran into one of the owners, Charlie, outside. And so we're gonna just say hi to him real quick because why not? He didn't want to be in the video, but I just wanted him to say hi. Hello, What's up, Charlie? We hung out last night, now we're best friends. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna have a couple of his pastas. Let's do this. to do, I'm gonna do two different pastas. Uh -huh. I like the quadrucci uh -huh. and the tagliarini. Yeah, the tagliarini. I suppose it can be coarse. Start off with say the quad and then yeah, let's do finish that. with the tag. Yeah, that sounds good. Awesome. Right. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you. When I asked what was Charlie's favorite, they said the Barolo, so that is what I ordered. It's so good. Kim and somebody else last night were telling me, forget about what wine is supposed to taste like. There are like different fit flavor profiles of wine. You can go off of like dry or fruity or juicy or tannic or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's about how you feel drinking different wines, how different wines make you feel. So try to go off of that experience and really take in the wine for what it is without worrying about labeling it. Asparagus and everything in there. So fresh. The balsamic in there, the brightness, and a little bit of sweetness. So good with the parmesan. And even like, I'm not sure what kind of greens this is, but I love having the freshness in here. Especially like the asparagus, there's chicken in here. It's like super, super well balanced. And cool muffins, yeah. It's got so much more flavor than that pre-grated crab 
do yourself a favor if you can and get a block of Parmesan cheese to use at home if you don't already. debating boxing some of this stuff because I've got a second foster coming but it's not looking too good for that box right now. What box is this? It's a good amount to leave, I think. It's a good size for leftovers. Also, I'm by myself right now, if that wasn't clear. And I highly recommend going out to dinner by yourself and get exactly what you want. The only thing that is not good about going out to eat by yourself is you can't order like a table full of food and expect to put a dent in it. So I love going out with a group, ordering a bunch of things and sharing them. It's not this. Can I box up what we have? Yes, please. Thank you so much. All the leaves are off all the trees. <laughs> Fall is just too short here. It's too short. Exactly, Yay! Some fresh green parmesan cheese. Uh, yes, please. Maybe a little more. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look at these things. Little like crisps. The other thing I love about this dish is that it's not overpoweringly truffle-y. Truffle is just such a strong flavor, especially when you're using truffle oil, truffle butter, and they use a really delicate hand with this dish, paired with the nice salty <laughs> the prosciutto and gentle. <laughs> Did you want to have a look at the dessert menu today? I think I'm going to pass on dessert. Pass it on dessert today? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.
I'm in my car. Uh, that was so delicious. I absolutely love this place. There are a few other places that I absolutely love too for pasta. I cannot wait to take you to them. I'm just real sad. <laughs> Guys, like, I don't feel emotional right now. Thank God, because I've just been like a crying machine lately, like a full on water fountain. Anyways, guys, I'm going to save the tears for another time. Y'all have to come try Broders out if you come visit the cities or if you live here. I highly recommend, especially obviously the two dishes that I had, but so many, so many great things here, especially the wine. He is a huge wine person, so don't sleep on the wine. It really, it should be called Broders Pasta and Wine Bar. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining today. I appreciate the time that you take out of your day and continuously support, spend with me. It really means so much. And you know, it means so much to these restaurants too, honestly. Like I know you guys love when I cook at home, but it is huge for these restaurants to have the exposure and they really deserve it. So give them the uh, attention and the appreciation they deserve if you happen to be in the area. Comment below what you thought about this place, what you thought about these dishes. Have you been here before? And that's it for me guys. Go and get in that comfy outfit situation and turn on some true crime like I promised. And I'll see you guys on part two or I don't know what the next video is, but there will be a part two of pasta. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.